time to move forward. 68 Winnebago time, guys. We got the short block, the beautiful 408 stroker. It's in the house. We're gonna be uh, going over that today. All right, short blocks back from the machine shop. Usually I assemble short blocks and everything. I just get it machined. But uh, Brian gave us a good price over there. So he just took care of it. Got the short block all assembled for us. Scat rods, scat crank. It was a Virgin 360 block. So it's 20 over now. Put some nice hypotectic pistons in it. We didn't need to go all crazy with the forged. Because we're not boosting, we're not doing anything nuts. But take a look. Beautiful scat rods. Beautiful scat stroke crank. Nice 20 over. Pistons. She's beautiful, guys. All right. Let's get our cam ready. Bump stick time. All right, camshaft's going in. Gotta get it in. Got assembly lube on all the bearing journals. Good old Lucas assembly lube. Get the cam in its spot. Cam is in the block. All right, next item going in on our build is our beautiful hydraulic roller lifters. These are from Howard's. Um, they're very nice pieces. Beautiful, beautiful parts. Uh, look forward to putting these in. As you can see, we've got a little bit of assembly lube across our whole cam. We've got some assembly lube on the bodies of the lifters. We've also put some on the rollers themselves. Just remember, guys, if you love her, lube her. If you don't love her, just jam it in dry. But that's one set of eight going in. Get all those babies in, and we will go from there. All right, we've got all our lifters in. Looking good. All in their home. Thing of beauty. Really pretty. As you can see, I've moved the timing set to two degrees advanced. We are lined up. Just make sure the cam's in its proper location. Gotta make sure we're straight up here where we need to be. And then we'll be putting the fuel pump eccentric on here. Torquing this bolt down with its washer and the eccentric. And then the timing set will be done. All right, we are started on our cam keyway here. Our marks are lined up. Obviously, when the cam goes back, that's going to go back. But we don't have any crazy, crazy slop like we did. If you remember back on the old 318. All right, we got our brand new Mopar Performance coated fuel pump eccentric. Bam, boys and girls. She looks good. We're going to use the OEM cam bolt. It's going to be just fine. We're not winging a bunch of RPM. Once we get it in there, we're going to get her snug down, torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Then we'll put our oil slinger on the crank, and we can get ready to go and do the timing cover. All right, our timing set is on there with our eccentric and our bolt it's just tightened down by hand right now just so we can turn it over a few times and verify that our marks will line up but look how nice and tight the chain is everything's looking really good very nice everything's turning nice Oh, 
one more time. Get our marks back again. Show you the marks. Don't worry, this will be an ARP. We're just using this to turn it. Look, A2, right on our bing bang boom. All right, we're set at 35 foot pounds. And there we are, ready to rock. All right, we got our timing cover installed. All the bolts are in this bolt hole here on this 360 block is not drilled so there will be no bolt going in here but everything is RTV really nice nice and clean sealed up well everything's torqued to 35 foot-pounds and yes it's an RV guys so it's got the really strange high mount water pump timing cover so Next step is going to be getting the heads ready. So next time you see this build, we'll be getting the heads ready, doing installed heights and getting them prepped so we can torque them onto the block and we can measure for our push rods. That's gonna be our next step. So see you next time on the Winnebago project, guys.